What's up, guys? Petman here, Carolina Varsity, taking a look at a big game here. Uh, cross conferences here early on in week two in, uh, in the city of Charlotte. We got East Mecklenburg traveling over to South Mecklenburg. And um, you got a, two teams here coming off victories last week, uh, both facing different kind of opponents. East Mech uh, won 63-20. Over a rebuilding opponent in Barry, uh, racked up almost 600 yards of offense, 450 of that on the ground. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> and uh, South makes coming off a, a big win, 27-21 over a very good Marvin Ridge team out of Union County. And um, they got it done, uh, both running and throwing the football um, on offense as well. So... You know, for this game, obviously the key for South Mick is you got to stop the East Mech rushing attack led by uh, junior running back Kamal Howard. And he was the uh, conference player of the year last year, which is very impressive as a sophomore. And that East Mech offensive line is coming off the football. They worked hard in the offseason. So uh, if you're South Mech, um, I think you're going to get an eight, maybe nine man front at times. And, um, you know, Coach Lehman, the defensive coordinator, is going to, you know, sell out on the run. They only threw uh, six passes last game against Barry. Now, granted, they didn't have to throw the ball um, being up. They were up so much. But, um, you know, obviously you want to force them uh, to throw the ball, get them in third and long situations, and get them out of being on schedule on offense. Uh, conversely, stopping South Mech, I think East Mech is going to have to um, – spotlight Donnie both in the passing game and um, load up on Travis Prince in the run game. Now, the tough thing with South Mech is they found their uh, running attack uh, with Prince loading, uh, really going off in the second half. Um, so you got a three-year starter in Wallace. You know they can throw the ball. Um, but, you know, like, like most teams, I think you got to stop the run first and foremost and make a team one-dimensional. Um if they can do both, it's it's really hard to predict what they're going to do, when they're going to do it, and then, you know, kind of make your calls off of that. So I think you got to stop Travis Prince in the run game first, and, and then once they throw the ball, get pressure on Antonio Wallace to try to get him out of his comfort zone because once he has time to throw and he settles down, he is uh, pinpoint accurate among the best QBs in the area. Um, So, you know, I think those are your keys to victory on both sides here. Uh, hopefully the East Mech fans will travel well. Hopefully it'll be a, a nice big crowd. I know they had a, a good crowd at South Mech last week. Hopefully they'll have one again. Um, you got two veteran coaches going at it at Rocky White and Barry Shuford. Um, totally respect both of those guys very well. Visited both of them in the preseason. I uh, hope you guys have a great game and uh, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, guys.